Today we're going to take a look at some solving basics for trig equations. And we'll do that looking at this equation, sine theta equals negative one half. So a tip when solving an equation that looks like this is to just think for which angles is the sine negative one half. And that will help guide our process. So let's go ahead and take a look at that process. And here's a quick outline. Um, so in the first step, we'll do our analysis we'll find the quadrants for our angle answers, and we'll use that acronym ASTC, um, and that's the one that helps us know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. Um, we will also make use of our reference triangle, so we'll think back to our special right triangles and how they work on the unit circle. Um, if you need help with any of that, I'll post a link in the video description to some unit circle basic videos, and you can go into detail with those. Uh, the second step will be really to just put together what we've uh, analyzed in step one. So we'll find our angle answers. And we'll talk about two ways to do this. First, we'll just do it on the unit circle, so from zero to two pi. But we'll also see how to take that and make it so that um, we will find some solution equations for all solutions. So let's get started. We're finding this where the sine of theta equals to negative one half. So let's start with our analysis. We first want to know which quadrants we'll be working in. So use that acronym ASTC, think all students take classes, and work your way around labeling your quadrants starting in quadrant one. So all are positive in the first, sine and cosecant in the second, tangent and cotangent in the third, and cosine and secant in the fourth. So for our problem, we know we're looking for angles where sine is negative one half. So we know we should be working, if it's positive in quadrants one and two, we must be working in three and four. So let's just sketch in some angles here um, so that we remember our answers are in quadrants three and four. Next, we're going to determine which reference triangle we're working with. So we want the triangle where the sine is going to be equal to one half. I'm just working in quadrant one right now just to get the right angle and then we'll place it according to what we found previously. Um, remember on the unit circle the y coordinate is the sine and so one half is that short leg. So we want the vertical leg to be the shortest possible of our special right triangle angles. So we're working with this special right triangle here. Again, I'm just drawing it in the first quadrant so we get the correct reference angle and then we'll place our final answers. So we wanna know this angle and looking at it, now we have it sketched out, we know that that's our 30, 60, 90 special right triangle and that central angle is 30 degrees. Now, when you're solving trig equations, usually you're going to be asked for the answer in radians. Um, if you want it in degrees, we've got it. Um, but let's just recall that 30 degrees is the same thing as pi over 6 radians. So that's going to be the reference angle that we'll use in the next step um, to find our angle answers. All right, so let's put everything together now. Step two is to find our angle answers. And we know that our reference angle for each of these angles must be pi over 6. So it's just a matter of determining our rotation from the initial side in standard position. And you may just be able to look at this and know those angles, but just in case, let's actually calculate those. So for our angle in quadrant three, three, excuse me, we're rotating all the way around. So we're going past pi, or with a common denominator, that's six pi over six, and we're going one pi over six past that. So we know one of our solutions, the one in quadrant three, must be seven pi over six. And I'll write over that so we can see it a little bit better. Seven pi over six, that's our angle from quadrant three. So now let's determine the angle in quadrant four. We're rotating almost all the way around. Okay, so if we rotate it all the way around, that would be two pi or with a common denominator, that's 12 pi over six. So one pi over six less than that, remember that's our reference angle, must be 11 pi over six. So our two answers, to this equation where sine theta equals negative one half are from quadrants three and four. They are seven pi over six and 11 pi over six. And those are our answers on the unit circle or from zero to two pi. Now, if you're asked for all solutions, 
So I'll abbreviate it here for all solutions. It's really easy to take these two solutions and broaden them so that we have all solutions, all possible angles. Um, and so we do that. We'll start with our first angle with seven pi over six. Basically, we want to write a solution equation that says seven pi over six and all its coterminal angles, because remember we can rotate differently to get to that same terminal side. And so we do that simply by saying theta is seven pi over six plus one rotation k. So one rotation is two pi k. And that gets us our initially named solution, seven pi over six, but also all those angles that are coterminal where you just substitute in different integers for k. Um, so that adds a counterclockwise rotation or takes away a rotation or goes in the clockwise direction. Um, so play around with that, plug in different values for k, and you'll get different solutions that also um, apply to this equation. All right, and then we would want another solution equation to be fully complete here. We need to work with the quadrant four angle, and we'll do something very similar. This time we say theta is 11 pi over six plus two pi k, and that gets that quadrant four angle and all its coterminal angles. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully this helps you set a solid foundation um, for your solving of trig equations. Um, don't forget, I'll post those helpful links in the video description if you need some help with foundational unit circle topics. Um, and I'll also post a link so you can access more worked examples for solving trig equations. Thanks for watching.